What's up dudes, it's Alec Mac 111 and today I have a review of the Protec Mark II. Now most of you probably don't know what this is. This is a drop-in HPA unit. I was lucky enough to be able to get one of the sort of first samples. They're a very new engine that's coming out. It's similar to like a Wolverine SMP. Uh, Polar Star, Polar Star more so has been known as the one that's been putting like entire gearboxes out. This, however, is just a drop-in unit. So I'm gonna show you vaguely what it looks like here, just in in sort of in this little area. This is just testing. I don't even have an upper receiver built for this. I have it put in the lower. I'm going to build an entire gun around this platform. Right now it's in a GMP lower, but I just got my system up, so right now I don't have enough funds kind of to put this together, but I'm going to build a GMP upper and get back into that HPA world, so it's super cool that I got this. Um, I'll show you just basically kind of what came in the packaging. They're going to change the packaging apparently, but ProTech just says features designed and manufactured in the US, uh, 32 megahertz 8-bit FCU, best in class battery life engineered for performance and reliability, and a one-year warranty, which I think is great. And then they have different versions because they're going to produce different versions. They have a Mark III coming out soon, which is a version 3 gearbox. This is kind of just like a, pro a packaging. This the, I think this is just kind of one of the promotional ones that I think they'll have better built foam and stuff. And it'll just come. Um, it comes with an FCU, which you can see is right here. This is the FCU, very similar to Polar Star. Come with the connectors. It'll have a wire harness right here. This is this braided wire harness that will run all the way into the back of your engine. This is just a standard gearbox. No idea what brand this is. I think it's just a, it might be G&G or GMP. I don't know. It's just a random gearbox that I have and inside the engine itself exists. And this is awesome. This is a Project Mark II. Very nice laser engraved trades there on the side. It looks cool. Sounds great. It's got a red nozzle as you can tell. I don't think that's anything with FPS. I think it's just normal. So I'm going to read a little bit kind of just explaining some features for those of you guys that really are HPA buffs and really understand a lot of things. They have quite a few settings on here. I don't know if they have as many as my Polar Star, uh, but they have a lot of really cool things. So you have three different programmable modes. This is something I noticed right off the bat. So it's like settings. So if I want to have program one is my DMR setup, program two is my high RPS build or whatever, that I think is really, really cool because if I want to run a Mark 18 upper, hey, I'm going to switch to my high RPS and go whale on some chumps. Um, or if I want to use my DMR setup where I can have the max PSI and get as max uh, range as possible. Uh, ne then next you have DC, which is a, a dwell of some sort. You have DF, which is another adjusted in millimeter increments. Um, go on the website. If you get one of these, go on the website. They have on Ants Airsoft still right in the description for the ProTech Mark II, which I'll put in the description. And you will be have a product link. Go in there. It'll give you all the information you want as well as any videos. Rate of fire, I have mine at 21 just because I like a realistic rate of fire. Uh, BR is the rounds burst. So right now, as I have it plugged in, everything's ready to go. I have it on semi-automatic. So I just have semi-automatic. Now, however, if I want to go up, to five per se, five round burst. I think five is the only, is the, yeah. And then you have BR auto, just go crazy. And then that's it. So you have five round burst, if you want to program any of them. I am gonna keep it in right now because I shoot most of the time in semi-automatic, play a lot of American Milsim games. So that's pretty much kind of what I'm doing. SLN and R is another setting that it has that I'm not exactly sure what that is for, but it's supposedly for different setups. 76, which is the round counter, it has a hexadecimal uh, thing for it, and then it just shows like the revision in the, in the FCU. So yeah, I have, just have it real quick. Shoots well. The cool thing about this engine is it operates from a very low PSI. So you can run this. They, ad they advertise that it's 30 to 125 PSI, which is a ton. Average 250 FPS to 550 feet per second. I love that. I haven't got to do the testing yet. Those will come later. But like I said, very cool so far that everything is you can really adjust that FPS and that PSI if you want to run a really low setup, kind of how you can change nozzles in the Polar Star, you can do a lot with that. I'm going to read something else real quick just because um, I don't know it's like a whole lot about HPA stuff, but we'll go ahead and, and just exp explain this. Um, it has a consistency of plus or minus one FPS per shot. Um, the system was designed to over cause a, fee a double feeding issue, um, so it's, the goal is like pushing the BB past the bucking. I know my Polar Star had a little bit of problems with this with different buckings. They had Pro Win, and then I had, there was a lot of differences. Hopefully this, we'll see this really quickly. I'm going to try it in some different hop-up setups to see if it really advertises that. 
and then they're going to have an, a Mark III offset nozzle, which is going to come out soon. I think a whole new engine. I know they're coming out with the Mark III. Don't know exactly what's going on. But like I said, knowing that so far, I'm going to make a sweet build. I'm running my America line with my Redline Firebase. I have just a standard crappy FCU battery in here. With, the, with this FCU, however, they actually have a crazy, they advertise a four-month battery life in standby, which is great because if you're like me, forget to turn off your FCU and my Polar Star, I burned three FCUs out because I'm an idiot and I forgot to unplug it. Also, I just really like to play with the trigger even when it wasn't on. I was like, oh, this, is, this is sweet. I loved it. Um, but yeah, very low draw from the FCU. You don't have as much to do there. You have a lot more adjustability with a Polar Star, but also this is only $300 where Polar Star was 500 when it came out. So for it to come out at such a low price point is a big selling point as well. I think this is the cheapest HPA engine on the market. I think the Wolverines might be 350. I'm not exactly sure how much they are. But yeah, guys, first impressions of this ProTech Mark II. I'm gonna build a gun. I'm gonna get back from college in about five weeks and I'm gonna go and be playing a ton of Airsoft. So we will go and we will blast the trash out of kids with the new HPA gun and I will once again be known as Alex Smack 101, the HPA noob. Thanks for watching this video, guys. ProTech Mark II, I'll see you later.